everyone welcome back to another video and today I thought I'd um, do a little video about how and why I sketch in biro because I've been getting a lot of questions uh, on my Instagram and on my videos um, especially on my sketchbook tours about how I've been kind of transitioning from using lead to biro and so I thought I'd do an in-depth video about it so as you can see this new sketchbook that I started um, a couple months back it's basically just become a biro sketchbook. Um, all of my sketches I do are in, uh, I, I use either blue or black biro. Um, I'm thinking of investing in another, in some other colors of biro, but yeah, as you can see, it has a very sketchy vibe to it and it's, um, it's pretty cool. And I've been very into um, writing in my sketchbooks besides just drawing. So writing some text in it or some quotes that I like or some, poems and um, sketching around them. Yeah, that's very easy to do as well when you've got a uh, biro at hand. Um, so I've collected a couple of reasons as to why I sketch in biro now, uh, rather than any other material. So the first reason that I um, could possibly think of about biro and why I transitioned into it was basically that it's very travel friendly. I was kind of getting a bit sick of having to carry around my huge pencil case around with me all the time when I wanted to sketch. Yeah, once I got into Biro, it was so much easier because I basically just have to carry around two things and it just makes my life a lot easier. Also, if you do run out, it's the cheapest material I think I can possibly think of that you can buy literally anywhere. Um, Biro pens, so whenever they run out, to replace them is the easiest thing. Of course I still use other materials to sketch and stuff, but um, for my usual sketches that I normally do like every day that are supposed to be quick and easy, I just do them in viral because they just make my life a lot easier. So travel friendly, it's very good uh, and I can just easily slip in a biro pen in the little uh, elastic um, holder on my sketchbook and it just travels easily with me. Also it's something really easy to find whenever you're out and you want to sketch like at a restaurant or something everyone's always got a pen or a biro with them. Another reason that I thought of was that it really helps me uh, to practice to be less um, of a perfectionist. Um, so the, the fact about biro that makes it you know completely different from using pencil is that you can't erase it and um, that's a great thing uh, in my case especially because I think I was getting to a point with my sketchbooks where I was being too perfectionist and I was being uh, too over the top with them um, and the whole point of having a sketchbook is um, to put in all your rough ideas and all your brain dumps and everything and if uh, you're being too perfectionist with those then it kind of becomes a, a problem. Um, so I started using Biro because I've become a lot less attached to each line that I draw and it just it, it helps me become a lot more free with my drawings and also because I can't erase them uh, it helps me to just live with my mistakes and to <laughs> look at them and then become better um, from them which is great I highly recommend you to do that if you feel like um, all your drawings are perfect to the last detail sketchbooks are meant to be messy um, from what I I've learned so um, yeah just Having some, a, a, like a one sketchbook where you're just drawing only in biro, uh, it just really helps with that. This kind of transitions into the third point, which is uh, quick and fast sketches. And um, this is great for life drawing and um, some of the briefs that I've been doing at uni that I had to kind of practice doing this. So I just kind of got used to doing it also in my regular sketchbooks. Um, so fast and quick sketches uh, are great um, when you're just trying to capture uh, like rough lines and rough action lines of people and trying to um, draw out human figure. Uh, again, it kind of links back to being perfectionist, but it's really good because it, um, you're forced to be quick and because it's biro, you, you still have a bit of um, malleability with the pressure that you're applying on the pen, but uh, yeah, it, it, it basically forces you to be uh, less attached and more fast with your drawings, which is great for studies and, and stuff like that. The other great thing about it is that it doesn't actually smudge or transfer. Uh, a lot of the problems that I used to have with uh, drawing in, in lead was that whenever, like a couple after a couple of days, um, 
the, it kind of smudges onto the next page uh, and if you do draw on the page next to it it kind of transfers the the lead and it was kind of a, a messy issue but with Byron that doesn't happen which I love so that's also another plus And as I was mentioning before, you can still somewhat control the pressure that you apply on the pen to differ initial lines to final outlines. So you can still have your initial guidelines um, in really faint um, biro, but then keep adding pressure to them and more and more shading to differ the, the guidelines from your actual drawing. And this is something that kind of takes a little bit of practice, but it's really, really good. So you don't have to sketch out in pencil first. You can basically just use a biro for everything and it's just, it's very helpful. You can also play around with it and um, work with the shadows as well with it. I normally use cross hatching for the shadings and everything just because you can very easily uh, manipulate the darkness and the lights uh, very easily with how much cross, cross hatching you put in. But if you have another method of shading, I'm pretty sure you can do it with Biro. And uh, lastly, but not least, you can use any material under or over Biro. Because Biro doesn't smudge or uh, mix in with many things, um, it, it basically is perfect for uh, line drawings and stuff that you can add on to um, before or after you use it. Because uh, as you can see in the drawing before, I, before these ones, um, I kind of use my Windsor & Newton. I, I use my Tombow uh, dual brush pens uh, to add color to it on top and it didn't smudge as you can see. I also sometimes like using gouache as a base and then adding my viral lines over the top and that works perfectly as well. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't bleed into anything. It's absolutely perfect, you can just mix it with any other medium and it's fine. So that's another thing if you're trying to experiment with mixed media, viral is a great way to do it. Uh, just to kind of sometimes even add just details at the end of a drawing, uh, it's perfect. I'd say one of the only um, bad things about Biro, which isn't really a bad thing, is that it kind of reflects in the light, but then again so does lead and, and graphite. And it obviously reflects a little bit, but it's just a matter of if, you're, if you are a person that loves photographing the drawings and posting them, but just finding the right angle of light and you'll be absolutely fine. I've never really had an issue with it. But yeah, that kind of concludes my little tutorial, so to say, on why I sketch in Biro and my little reasons as to why. I'm gonna shut up now and let you guys just enjoy this speed painting of some very good doggos. Um, and just kind of show you also how I add backgrounds to my Biro drawings, just to add a little bit of color into my sketchbooks. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.